ሴራሚክ ካሜራ ይዘስ እንደ ስላይድ ያገኙት ስለዚህ ሴራሚክ ካሜራ ይዘስ ሴራሚክ ማመር ይዘስ ማለትም ሪ ቤሲክ ኢንግሪዲየንትስ ለፍ ስታርቲንግ ላይ ክሌ ሲሊቨር አንድ ፈስፓር ዚስ ዲስ 3 ሚክሰሳ ዲ ፍሪ ሚክሰሳ ካምፖንሳ ዩስዶ ቱ ሜክ ሴራሚክ ካሜራ ይዘስ እንዲ ካምፖዚሽን <laughs> okay it is mainly used for binds bind binding binding hmm? together okay next next the uh, common raw materials are used to uh, manufacture in the ceramic materials are so number one is nickel uh, crude oil okay then industrial minerals and industrial inorganic chemicals okay these are things used to manufacture yeah, uh, uh, ceramic raw materials then here yeah, the same thing is given but uh, the expansion is uh, given the uh, crude material non uniform crude material from, from natural deposits many yearly ceramic industries were based there uh, near a natural deposit contains a combination of crude minerals that could be a conveniently processed into a useful product so crude is a important uh, uh, important uh, component to, for manufacturing the ceramics next industry minerals that mean the that is a number three point good mineral material three point industrial uh, minerals that have been uh, beneficiated to remove the mineral impurities to significantly increase the mineral purity and the physical consistency okay they are used extensively as additives in glass glass and the raw material for industry chemicals then in industry inorganic chemicals are high tonnage industrial chemicals that have undergone extensive chemical processing and refinement to significantly you know, upgrade the chemical purity and improve physical characters examples of calcium aluminum magnesium aluminum then silicon carbide silicon nitride then alkaline uh, alkaline titanates soft and hard tonnage okay these are things that are used in for industrial inorganic chemicals then extensive chemical verification reduces to raises the content of accessory minerals and it may increase the chemical purity up to 99.5 percent okay. then yeah and we are going to see the calculating and the processing of ceramics here because this we are going to take the raw material that is nothing but uh, that is nothing but the crude oil okay. uh, any one of the components then the raw material we are going to see this microstructure then then the type of this process material preparation forming and shaping uh, casting casting drying and the glass process and the firing the type of this process we are manufacturing the ceramic as the final product properties then after the detail uh, phase and the application we are once again doing the raw material uh, doing the other other uh, finishing process and uh, get based on application of uh, we get the raw product or raw product of ceramic is on the application application Okay, most of the traditional technique, most of the traditional and the technical ceramics products are manufactured by compacting powder and particles into shapes which are related, which are heated to high temperatures. With the high temperature, the basic steps of the, uh, in the processing of ceramics are only something like the material preparation, the second is forming, shaping, okay, forming or casting, yet the casting is shaping process, or thermal treatment by drying process. Okay, next step. the manufacturing process are first of all step one is shaping okay uh, shape here the basic four basic processes are there basic stages are there one is shaping drying firing glazing here as we are going to see the uh, see this shaping process with the ingredients are mixed to mixed together and soaked uh, in water the excess water has fused out to make a clay with a, a moisture content of about 20 percent and the mixture is shaped appropriately then there is the there is either done by forcing the clay into a mold or by pressing a mold into the clay while it is spinning on the turn table so due to that what happens the excess amount or the it will be make a clay formation okay 
the processing techniques are tack casting, slip casting and the injection molding. These three processes are normally we are using making as a shaping. Uh, shaping in this first stage. Okay, next is drying. The items are uh, dried slowly in the oven in an oven during which uh, stage the uh, air loose loose <coughs> sorry lose all of the water except uh, that which is bound up in the crystal lattice. Before the wire can be fired to a high temperature, it must be it must first uh, first be dried to remove the water. This result in three to seven percent of volume reduction. So when the removal of excess uh, water, what will happen? There, it will be making as a shrinkage. So the water, after shrinking, the volume uh, shrinking process, the volume will be reduced. What is what is added to increase the plasticity of the clay? This what is still present in the body after after uh, it has been formed and can be removed only. A slow as it, it must be at as set must migrate through the spaces between the particles of the clay and silica and the feldspar to evaporate from the surface. Uh, during the drying period, the body will shrink by significant amount. So, what happened? The volume will be reduced. Shrinkage stops when the particles come into contact. However, if drying is not uniform. So stresses can be built to the extent that the body warps or possible cracks will be developed in this process. Cast wear is in the mold for 30 minutes to 60 minutes where some drying occurs and then are dried for 1 to 4 days. So jiggered wear is dried at a little above ambient temperature for little over an hour in a mangled and then air is dried for and then air dried for one to five days one to five days next day here you can see the ceramic processing mineral uh, first of all the minerals then it will be applied into the chemical process due to the chemical processing it will be made as then in the ceramic processing minerals chemical process mineral first stage is minerals Okay, that will be taken as a raw material, then applied into the chemical processing. During the chemical processing, it is converted as a uh, powders, okay, like a nanoparticle. Then the powder processing and that it will be created as a green body, making as a some of the green body, green, uh, green body, or sometimes it will take as a green uh, plate. Okay, then after that, what will happen? Uh, centric process, it will be centric borders, uh, it will make as a dense particle or uh, make as a some strong particle then after that then after after the sinking process uh, it will be make a with a, some dents and a porous, for a some of the porous uh, com, porous will be for a porosity will be increased uh, with help of the compact with help of the compact operation also then we will get the uh, after machine some of the machining process we will the final product final product of the ceramics next step uh, here we can see this traditional ceramic processing processing sequence are uh, preparing the powders initial prepared powder will be there then the preparing powders will be there after that what we mean we are applying the some water then shaping the wet clay then after shaving uh, making as a wet clay we are keeping outside or uh, making as a dry okay then after drying process done by drying process we are putting on the fire so this is the initial method, traditional method for making the ceramic. The more water in the mixture, the easier to form the product. But the cracking during the drying and the centering, okay? Cracking during the drying and the centering process will take place. So you initially lose the this is a loose powder, so that will be have uh, that will have more number of content of uh, more number of content of air. So uh, more content of air. Then in the clay with the clay with uh, clay consists of water. So what will happen? It will be shaping. It will be gives the uh, wet clay. Then after drying, what will happen? So if the air porous will be there in uh, in the uh, third process. Okay, dried in the dried clay. After that, he, he, when we are applying the heat, all the air pores are uh, removed. Then uh, it will be given as a fire the clay. Then here you can see this uh, here. Initially, the raw, bigger raw material will be taken, then that will be applied to the jaw pressure. Okay, 
or sometimes uh, sometimes we we can apply into the rot thruster also here you can see this the row this is the rotor that will be rotated at the same time that with the particles car materials will be applied in the upper direction that will be given as a uh, smooth uh, consist of smooth consist of the powder okay to get the ready ceramic powder for shaping here you can use pressing roller pressing roller is also two rollers are rotated in the uh, uh, one is rotated in the anti clockwise side, another rotated in the uh, clockwise direction. So due to that, when you are applying the in between the key, in between these two rollers, what will happen? It will be used as a uh, uh, ceramic powder. Okay. Then here you can see the hammer mill is available. Okay. That is also uh, is one of the process for making the making the uh, powder shape of ceramics. Okay. Then this is the uh, ball mill process. Okay. Inside the balls mills. Okay. <coughs> uh, Ball mill process. The balls, balls are there. These balls are used to, oh, used to make the small size of the uh, uh, ceramic powders. Then, next step is tap casting. So here you can see this is a tap casting machine. Okay, the process for making the thin sheets. Okay, here you can see the thin sheets. Carry a thin film. Okay, carry a thin film. Carry a thin. Here it is the thin film, thin sheets of ceramic using the ceramic slurry. Consisting of binder and the plastic is a cast that is cast with cast the study is cast with the help of the blade onto the plastic substrate. The plastic substrate. <coughs> then slip casting. So this is the slip casting process. This is a normal traditional method, but the only thing is is the assembled mold. Here we are using the assembled mold. In the assembled mold, we are pouring the slip uh, pour the uh, slip into the mold. What will happen after removal, drain, uh, draining this uh, excess amount of uh, 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 combination of this, what will happen that uh, only the uh, trim will be available. Then uh, the trimmer removing the unwanted uh, mold uh, outside the result of the trimming process, we are getting the uh, uh, removed mold, final mold part. Then we have we, that mold part we can put into the center and the compact process we will get the a final product of this ceramic. So forming a hollow ceramic part by introducing the pourable. This is the pourable slurry. This is the pourable slurry into the mold. Then injection mold. So this is the normal injection molding process. The raw material is mixed with the resin to provide the necessary fluidity degree. Here fluidity degree we can uh, maintain. Then the injection injected into the molding die. Here injected into the molding die, then squeezing process will be taken. Sorry, not the squeezing process. After that, what is the what element? The molden is then cooled uh, to harden the binder and produce a green compact green compact. Then the last step is firing process. The item is heated to temperature up to thousand one seventy degrees Celsius. During which the time the clay undergoes some chemical charges. Chemical changes and the silica and transfer undergo a physical changes. The reactions of the uh, uh, summarized uh, summarized here the equation is given. Silica and the water are also expelled during the fire, resulting in the further 5 to 7 percentage of volume reduction. That is the very important part. The silica he mixes with the silica already present and melts to form a glasses. It, it is it is. Uh, this glass, which also includes metallic ions, form a form the melt that makes the ceramic item uh, and non-porous and watertight. Once drying is complete, the body is ready for firing. All unglassed articles and may glass one and fire using a once firing method. Okay, the small number of articles are fired twice and in a in a method whereby a glass is Yes, applied after the first biscuit fire and the fixer on the second glass firing. So to understand this process, a necessary uh, to consider what happens the individual component of the body uh, when they are heated to high temperature. So next, uh, so this is uh, these three processes are these four, four stages are we have taken for making the ceramic. 